when Amina wanted to take him back, uh, after a couple of years or three years, Halima as Saadiya insisted that he stays with her until an amazing event that took place, which is the opening of the chest of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. And let Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam narrate this to us with authentic authentication from Imam Muslim. The Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam says, when I was in the land of Halima as Saadiya, two angels came to me while I was playing with the kids, with the children. One of them was Jibreel or Gabriel alayhi salam. One of them said, is that him? The other said, yes. They grabbed him and they took him. Other children saw those two big men. They ran away to their mother Halima as Saadiya. And those two men took Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam behind a small hill where nobody could see. Muhammad said, I was forced to put on the ground and then they opened my chest, took my heart out and they took a clot out, a little piece of, of meat and they said, Hadha hadduka min shaitan Hadha hadduka min shaitan This is the luck or the portion of the shaitan from you. They took out the heart, they washed the heart of the Prophet Muhammad with Zamzam water and remember Zamzam has all, already existed before the time of the Prophet Muhammad so they washed his heart in a golden plate put it back in the chest where it belonged with the mark of course like an open heart surgery and Muhammad was left to go Muhammad went back to his mother Halima as she said by Allah the Almighty, I saw his face different colors. After she heard what Prophet Muhammad told her, she insisted he go back to his mother. This is amazing. She knows he spent six years with her. She knows the Prophet Muhammad doesn't lie. He's not like other kids. Two men opened my chest, took my heart, did this and did that. She believed him because she raised him. But at the same time, she got scared and didn't want anything to happen to him away from his own mother Halima. She took him back to his mother Amina anha. Back to the incident that happened of the opening of the chest. Every single person of us is born with the luck or the portion of the shaitan. Every human being is born with that luck or the portion of the shaitan. Every single person is born with a heart and in that heart there is a portion of the shaitan. What does that mean? Now that depends on how we deal with that clot or portion of shaitan. In the heart there is a portion or clot of shaitan. Do we open it for the shaitan to take advantage of us? Or do we close it and keep it clean and away from Satan, from shaitan? This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. Allah created all of us with desires. Every single human being is created with desires. We can't run away from our desires. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, created it with us, within us. But it depends on how we deal with those desires. Some people master their desires. Others, their desires master them. Some people lead their desires. Others, their desires lead them. Some people make their desires above them and others make their desires underneath them. And that goes back to Iman, to faith in the Almighty. When we are close to the Almighty, we have the ability to control our desires. When we are far away from the Almighty, then our desires control us. This is where the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, stated that there is a portion in the heart that belongs to the shaitan that was taken out from him. Now, the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, lived with Halima as Saadiya and lived with her children as well. And this is a point for you to keep in mind that Muhammad والسلام, has now brothers and sisters from breastfeeding. So Muhammad والسلام, comes back to live with his mother Amina. And only moments, 
only few months where Amina passes away when Amina goes to visit the grave of her husband Abdullah who is the father of the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, as a loyalty respect and love for him a few kilometers where Abdullah was buried on the way back Amina fell ill and passed away now the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, born with no father by the age of six he lost his mother now born with no father by the age of six he lost his mother now to be passed on to his grandfather Abdul Muttalib Abdul Muttalib is a noble and respected man the leader of Mecca remember Abdul Muttalib was attached to the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, since he was born. As a leader of Mecca, he used to have a couch or a nice carpet in his place next to the Kaaba as a leader, where the leader of the tribe sits. That space is only for the leader of Mecca, and Abdul Muttalib used to sit on it. The Prophet Muhammad والسلام, was young, and he used to sit on that space of his grandfather Abdul Muttalib. His uncles used to remove him from that place. Abdul Muttalib says, leave my grandson alone. By Allah the Almighty, I see a great future for my grandson. Leave him alone. And they used to leave him alone because the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, they used to sit next to his grandfather. Moments by the age of eight, Prophet Muhammad والسلام's grandfather uh, and the closest to him passes away at the age of eight. At the age of eight, the grandfather Abdul Muttalib passes away. For Muhammad's guardianship to be passed on to who? To his uncle Abu Talib. His guardianship was passed on to his uncle Abu Talib. Abu Talib, as we will see, he stood by the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, and lived through um, the life of the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, until he was 45 years old. He loved Muhammad Ali والسلام, the way he loved his own children. Took good care of the Prophet Muhammad Ali والسلام. He tried to compensate the Prophet Muhammad Ali والسلام, the emotions of the father Muhammad missed on. Abu Talib had many children in his guardianship besides Muhammad Ali والسلام. And he also, as we know, he also had Ali ibn Abi Talib, عنه, the great companion. 